class 10 today we are going to start with a discussion of another sample paper because all of you are not having so that you can have an idea about the type of questions you will get okay so for this you know that for reading passages also you will have the questions which will include uh, the understanding of the theme of the message also and you will clearly understand the meaning of the different phrases which are given in the passage and for that you have to uh, make the right choice now we are coming to discussion of writing and grammar part so first of all the question is in a letter to god letter to editor we do not what we do not write give our suggestions this question is again repeat i think so this we have already done also yes ha uh, that is with me that tomorrow i will bring in the class okay cbse one uh, sample paper i will bring in the class and we will have discussion of that only right okay now let us see another example the objective of a formal letter is to what is objective of formal letter is to keep alive a personal relationship achieve a de definite purpose evoke a sense of actual meaning or revive old memories this question is again repeated what is the purpose of a formal letter it is evoke a sense of actual meaning no it is written for a definite purpose okay it is written for a definite purpose next official letters are written in a dash language which language difficult positive and polite rude or highly verbal positive and polite in a very positive and polite manner it is written next in a formal letter we should avoid what we should avoid using bombastic words complicated structures very easy language or hackneyed phrases what we should avoid using bombastic words okay your language should be simple crisp so that you can deliver the meaning okay so it is very very important the subject which with which the letter deals is written where it is written subscription and the signature salutation and the first paragraph or between address and writer no and data and salutation date and salutation date and salutation okay so it can be written there in letters of complaint when we write letters of complaint the tone is invariably modest but this modesty should not be at the cost of what rudeness firmness indecency or accuracy rudeness means you should not be rude ha ah. rudeness you should not be rude in case of writing formal letters next the subject line in a formal letter is what subject line in formal letter is not necessary optional preferable or missing it is preferable because we always prefer to write down the subject line why we always prefer to write down the subject line because it will give an outline of what we are going to write in a letter We are not going to write then ultimately what it will be. It will be a vague one, okay? And the reader will not be able to get to know what the writer or who so ever is the sender what he intends to write in there. Because in case of subject, we clearly mentioned whether it is a complaint, whether it is you can say, uh, uh, whether it is an order, whatever it is, okay? So subject line is always preferable in these cases. Next we have narration. so now i'm writing on the board how is your doctor says how is your headache now so narrate it please how is your headache now ask the patient how was your how his headache now will change into then okay now the patient said much better sir 
Now change it. Much better, sir. Change it. The patient replied that he was much better. Okay, replied that he was much better. Or he, if he is asking about headache, you can also write down that it was much better. Okay. Next, doctor says, "Can you attend to you work to your work now? Can you attend to your?" Work now. Replied the doctor asked if he could attend to your will change into to his. If he could attend to his work now will change into then. If he could attend to his work then. Okay. Next. Patient said, "Yes, easily. Should I take more medicine? Yes, easily. Should I take one minute? Should I take more medicine? Now, how it will be changed? Yes, the patient reply in a positive way or in a positive manner or affirmatively. Okay, and." And he further asked if he should take more medicine. Okay, and he further asked if he should take more medicine. To this, what does the what did the doctor reply? No, you don't. Doctor said no. You don't need. to take more medicine now now what will be the answer doctor said you don't need to take any medicine or to take more medicine doctor said doctor replied that yes that he didn't simple present will change into simple past tense right so that he didn't need to take more medicine okay that he didn't need to take more medicine okay so in this manner you will write it down okay so next next is fill in the blanks by choosing the correct option so what is there the paper dash thrice weekly appear appears appearing is appearing appears because singular is there and singular is there it will take singular verb next he jumped off the train while it moved moves has moved was moving the he jumped off the trail while it was moving why why was moving who moving because the action was in progress okay the action was in progress so none dash feel disgraced if i am defeated shall should could will none dash feel disgraced if i am defeated none will i spoke the last option it was yes it was there next for literature paris was about 150 kilometers behind me and i saw the clouds storm clouds which chapter it is the black aeroplane they were huge they looked like black mountains standing in front of me across the sky i knew i could not fly up and over them i did not have enough fuel to fly around them to the north or the south i ought to go back to paris i thought but 
but i wanted to go home i wanted that breakfast i will take the risk i thought and flew that old dakota straight into the storm so the i in the passage is is a pilot nelson mandela a tourist or an engineer it's a pilot who which airplane he was flying dakota ds dakota 007 next he could not fly up and over the stormy clouds because he was scared his old dakota was damaged the storm was furious or he didn't have enough he didn't have enough fuel he could not go back to paris he did not have that option why because the fuel was less in the tank it could only last till he could reach his destination and otherwise not right so next one he did not go to paris because he didn't like paris paris was very far away he wanted homely breakfast of the direction of the stormy clouds because of because of the stormy clouds also okay stormy clouds he didn't like paris this option is wrong okay paris was far away but in front of him was stormy clouds so at that moment what he will think one minute what he will think at that time that he will go into the storm clouds or he will go back to paris thing was that he did not have enough fuel okay you can choose this option but i am in doubt here nahi that is right he needed homely breakfast but what the thing is actually that in front when storm clouds are there what was his inca incapability to go to back paris at that time he was not thinking of his breakfast okay next one even in the grimmest times in prison when my comrades and i were pushed to our limits i would set a glimmer of humanity in one of the guards perhaps just for a second but it was enough to reassure me and keep me going man's goodness is a flame that can be hidden but never extinguished yes who is i here a prisoner a prison okay nelson mandela right which of where is the speaker at present inside his prison cell outside his prison cell in his hometown or outside the prison outside the prison because in the very first line it is mentioned even in the grimmest times in prisons when my comrades and i were so it means that now he is out of the prison and this is the reason why he is uh, sharing his experience there the expression pushed on our limits means what pushed gravely tested the limit of what was safe acceptable to us pushed in the prison cell or tortured badly tortured badly he should be snarling around houses at the jungle's edge bearing his white fangs his claws and terrorizing the village who is which poem the tiger right the tiger now who is he here the tiger right the phrase snarling around houses growling and snarling growling and roaring it is frisking near the village terrorizing the people or escaping the hunters snarling around houses it is terrorizing the people next where should he be in the village at the edge of jungle in the zoo or in the park in at the edge of the jungle so next is he escaped easily enough from his from the boys who followed one minute please who followed his footsteps in london but his adventures were by no means over he had chosen a bad time of the year 
in winter about london without clothes it was mid winter the air was bitterly cold and he could not do without clothes instead of walking about the streets he decided to slip into a big london store after warm he is mentioned for in the first line is the landlord invisible man mr hall it's the invisible man okay now he could not do without clothes because air was cold warm bitterly cold or rough it was bitterly cold not cold it was bitterly cold see two options are there contradicting with each other next it was the time of what summer winter winter autumn or mid winter mid winter mid winter according to chapter right so two options you feel here is correct okay but finally which is the absolute one that you have to choose next the expected call came within a few days mr pumphrey mrs pumphrey was distraught tricky would eat nothing refused even his favorite dishes besides he had bouts of vomiting he spent all his time in a rug on a rug panting didn't want to go for walks and didn't want to do anything the call was expected by mr harriet or sable griffin mr max what was this call was expected from harriet griffin or sable mr max it was harriet dr james harriet was the veterinary doctor of surgery next the problem with tricky was that he would not bark bite eat anything or sleep he would not be able to eat anything now tricky is depicted as a dash dog sluggish ferocious indulgent or dependable sluggish he turns out to be lazy next a deep silence met the reading of this letter after reading miss mason addressed the class in a high pitched voice gruff voice low voice flat voice low voice gruff voice is rough voice she did not spoke it in a rough manner next i finished my poem and it was beautiful in the poem ducklings were bitten to death by father as they ate too much they quacked too much they troubled too much or they slept too much they quacked too much because they were talking a lot so this is the reason why the ducklings were punished to death young seagulls experience of landing on the green sea was it was exciting thrilling adventurous frightening it was not adventurous it was exciting adventure to have some kind of adventure he was not going for any kind of adventure into into the sea he was not going for any adventure into the sea no next the greatest wealth of south africa is minerals people okay right people the crows act of shaking down the snow from hemlock tree was accidental intentional deliberate or planned it was accidental deliberate means knowingly when you are doing anything knowingly it is called as accidental okay but it was not but it was not intentional next inside the cage the tiger walks quietly and stealthily uncomfortably on the soft surface or on the soft soles of his feet because velvet paws was mentioned in the poem now according according to the poet if the boy has to grow up in this world he must learn that what he must learn which chapter the ball poem right what he must learn loss is an essential part of the life it is unwise to grieve over the loss or nobody can keep everything forever we should not run after material possessions 
Question is according to the poet, if the boy has to grow up in this world, he must learn that what he must learn. Loss is essential part of life. It is unwise to grieve over the loss. Nobody can keep everything forever, and we should not run after material possession. Isn't it a loss is essential part of life? He must learn. Why nobody can keep everything forever? It is unwise to grieve over the law. D. We should not run after material possessions. No. A. He has. B option to hoi nahi sakta. How it can be D? Nobody can run after material. C is not that nobody can everything forever. Hmm. So, how did Mrs. Pumphrey and her servants react when Ricky was being sent to surgery? They felt happy and relieved. They were almost in tears. They were grief stricken, or they they were almost in tears, or they hoped that Ricky would soon recover. They were almost in tears. Next, who? What is your assessment of Anil? He was highly money-minded, miserly person, kind and compassionate, or a social reformer. He was kind and compassionate in his nature. Okay, so what kind of man he was? He was kind and compassionate. Okay. So any doubt to any student regarding sample paper? So this we have revised. Okay, and now, uh, as you have told me, ma'am, we want to revise the chapter Footprints Without Feet. So, let us have the summary, short summary of this chapter Footprints Without Feet. So, what the chapter Footprints Without Feet is about? It is about a scientist named Griffin. Okay, so in during the midwinter, he his footsteps were seen in the London streets. They were discovered by two boys. And why those two boys were surprised? These two boys were surprised to see the footprints without a man. They were following the footsteps as the footsteps were moving on the stairs. Okay. But they were not able to figure it out that whose footprints they are. Because there was not a man to be seen. Okay, so these were, there was, it was nothing of that. And there is nothing a story of, you can say, of strange nature, but actually it was what they were. They were the footprints of of the scientist named Griffin. So why he was able to put his footprints? Because he has invented the formula of invisibility. He has invented the formula of invisibility. And because of this, what he has done, he has removed off his clothes in order to turn out to be invisible. So uh, what kind of nature he has? He was rather a lawless person. Okay. He has set out his house on fire. Why he has set out his house on fire? Because he did not like his landlord. He did not like his landlord. Okay. His landlord disliked him and he tried to eject him from his house. So this is the reason he set out his house on fire. So finally, when he has come out of the house, he was moving in the streets of London. It was really difficult for him to cope up with this kind of weather. So ultimately, what he has to do, he has to cover his body with something because it was really cold and he has to protect himself from this kind of cold weather. And for that, what he has done, where he has gone. So for that, after that, where he has gone, he has gone into London store. So we are after when all the people who were working in the store, they have gone to their houses after closing the store. He sneaked inside the store and he uh, sat on the pile of mattresses and he has put on some of the warm clothes in order to provide coziness to himself. Later on, he has, he had some virtuous dinner also. He had some wine for sweet dish also. He had something in the store. And finally, He's, uh, you can say he slept on the pile of quilts. So while he was sleeping on the pile of quilts, so then what happened? 
he slept soundly and in the morning it was due to his bad luck that the boys assistant boys of the store they have come quite earlier and they found him sleeping there and he has to run away from there by throwing off his clothes again so finally next he thought that he needed something by which he could conceal his you can say invisible appearance so for that where he has gone he has gone to the dury lane there number of shops of theatrical uh, equipment were there and he found a perfect shop number 11 there and when he has gone into the shop what he has dressed himself up with wide brim hat pair of goggles coat overcoat okay uh, he has wrapped bandages over his forehead and uh, moreover side bushy whiskers to cover his face yes okay and after that where he has gone he has gone to iping okay in the iping where he has taken refuge in an inn okay so this was the slack time of the year at that moment mr and mrs hall who were the owner of the owner of the inn they were feeling quite happy that they had that some visitor had come to their inn at this uh, you can say this time of the year when they are not expecting any tourists so finally because of the strange appearance mrs hall wanted to know everything about griffin but as he said as he has clearly mentioned plainly told to mrs hall that his only purpose of coming here is for solitude so he never wanted to be disturbed here so what happened so one day mrs hall she found the door of mr mr uh, door of the uh, invisible man or griffin's room open she went inside what happened furniture went mad she was pushed by a chair out okay hat came and dashed upon her face and this is how mr and mrs hall they were almost fallen into hysterics because of the reason that they have never witnessed this kind of situation earlier so everyone was saying that it was a, some nice some supernatural phenomena later on what happened another curious incident happened in the clergyman's desk where nobody was found stealing the money and it was that it was thought by the clergyman when they when they went inside they opened the door with the poker and flung open the door with the poker they tried to find out who was there there was chinking of the money chinking of the money uh, someone was stealing the money but no one was, was there to what this what was the comment of the clergyman that it was an extraordinary affair so everyone you can say everyone you can say doubt was again focused upon griffin and later on in secretly mr jaffers who was the village constable was called and he said that whether it is a uh, whether it is a headless man he has to make the attempt to catch hold of the man so what happened so when the constable came griffin who was short tempered he told mrs hall that i will tell you who i am for that first of all he has taken over his hat he has turned out to be headless man removed his bandages then he has taken off his overcoat then shirt and trouser and within few moments what happened that he has turned out to be completely invisible and finally uh, mr jaffers he was also not able to find out from where those blows were coming finally they were unable to find or they were unable to arrest griffin from that place and he escaped from that place also so this short chapter about griffin it has depicted the notorious nature of griffin that he was not a man law abiding man but what kind of man he was a law, rather lawless person okay who is teasing everyone right so this is about the short summary of the chapter the invisible man right so now if you have any doubt online as well as offline students you can ask me it's fine right yes bhumika you want to ask सैंपल पेपर टू यू so that you can have an idea okay right so i will send it to you so any other thing that you want to ask that's fine okay 
so thank you student that's all for today and tomorrow we will discuss another sample paper